Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Matthew Thompson. I made a video yesterday about my um, Expedition Everest um, minecart roller coaster, so to speak. And today I kind of went crazy with Minecraft as I did last afternoon. I tend to go crazy with games, wear them out and then stop playing them. And right now Minecraft is sort of on my mind. So I'm going to show you guys what I've made because I've made a lot more uh, minecart tracks all over my world here. And then just a few other things that I've made I'll show you guys as well. So first I made, this is the underground tunnel system that I have. Um, that's the walkway. I like making these little underground tunnel mine train or uh, underground tunnel walkways because I think it's kind of fun. This one goes to the glass cave of doom which you'll actually get to see on one of my trains. This goes to the Thompson Tower. I'm not really going to focus on that today. Um, but uh, let's see here. Yeah without further ado we'll start off with this one which you guys haven't seen and then I'll show you what changes I made to Expedition Everest because I thought of a few things to add and make it better. So, as you can see, we're going through a little tunnel here, over a little bridge, going up up here. So this is all new. I've never featured this on, in any video before. Um, that sculpture there is an Iiwi. I'll talk about that later. This is a cave and a waterfall I thought would be fun to feature. Um, this is a big explosion because I wanted to put a bunch of TNT there and see what happens. So this bird is an iiwi. I saw them in Hawaii, and I thought they were really cool. It's one of my favorite birds, so I figured I'd make a big one out of out of Minecraft blocks, just for my little area here. And then, last but not least, the the mine cart train goes right through the tower here, which is pretty exciting as well. So I figured you guys would like to see that, and we're back here. So. That was kind of just one of the general things I wanted to show you guys. Uh, so let's let's talk about this. First off, I made my house a little bit bigger. I made another chamber. Um, yesterday it was just the bottom part here, as you can see with the red stained glass. I, I put a little fence there as well. Um, over here. This, I literally just built this. This is the most recent um, track right here, and I'm going to take you guys on it. It is a mine train, so to speak. It goes through a mountain, and then it has a few other exciting things, which I'll show you in a little bit. But first, let's head on up. So right now we're going through a mountain, literally. Okay, cave down there. Okay, this part's kind of cool. I found this really deep pond here. It gets a little bit slow right here, as you can see the mine, the mine train. But I found this little pond right here, and I figured I'd put some of my train around it. And then this, look at that. I made that right there. So. It is just too fast to comprehend. Go, it goes up basically in spirals all the way to the top, and then it goes on a straightaway. Um, a build that I've seen before, but not a very common one. But it gets you up a lot easier than some of the other ways to build. Um, and that was a full loop of the extra section that I just made. So I hope you enjoyed that. I will be showing you two more um, sections of train that I've built, but this is just going to take me back to, this is the part that you guys already saw, so I don't really have to narrate this. Um, I also made the Expedition Everest a full loop, so once you get all the way over there, it takes you all the way back. Really far loop, but it takes you all the way back, so I don't have to, like, do anything, really. I can just get on there and show you guys exactly what I did. Um, but yeah, let's start with What's the best way for me to do this? Let's see, I'm gonna try doing this. 
kind of used that as a way to teleport out. Um, I'll put a minecart here, put, uh, get ready here. Okay, so this one is the underground mine train. As you can see, many twists and turns we've already done. This goes by so fast, it doesn't really reflect the time I've spent working on this because it took me quite a while. Um, and this is a build I worked on earlier. So we just, uh, we're going in a glass tunnel right now and it's almost too fast to comprehend. Occasionally fish will swim by. I had to get rid of so much water when I made this glass tunnel and it goes all the way underneath and then there's a straightaway and it puts you right back to the underground section right here, which it connects to the other one because we went across that bridge, as you guys might remember, we did that on the first one as well. But a lot of my trains, because I don't have enough space for them all, they overlap each other. So this is the one that I made the video about yesterday and I added a couple other things, but I will show you guys right now. And then I'll talk about a couple of the things I changed, but as you'll remember, it's basically just a big straightaway to get over there. Um, and then basically what I did is I looped around another mountain. I know, kind of crazy, literally a whole nother mountain. So, um, and I added a Yeti, but that's kind of a surprise. I just spoiled it. Um, but you'll enjoy it. So I, the, the loop around the mountain up there is, is big. It, it's huge. Like, I, I don't know why I spent the time to do it, but I thought it would be really cool. So I also kind of think this, this whole world is like kind of a crappy design with all like the trees and the snow, because I, I when I, when I got this app, I kind of was hoping I'd have more like green areas to like play with like open areas. And whenever I want to build something, it seems like I have to burn down trees, which I'm not a fan of doing as a big environmental guy. Um, but yeah, so that's the tower we went through yesterday and okay, that was not expecting that to happen. Uh, bear with me here for just a second. There was another mine, mine cart in there from earlier today, but I will remedy that and we will start from here. So Expedition Everest, this is what you guys have all been waiting for. Like we said yesterday, this is the same thing, but I added a lot to it. So I hope you enjoy. And yeah, this normally this train would go straight through there, but there was that one minecart which we bounced off of, leading to us not being able to do it properly. So now it should be good. When I laid down all these redstone torches, I, I first just started with laying down the tracks and then I figured, where do I need to give a boost to? And then wherever I needed to add a boost, I just put in some redstone. Um, here's the mountain, as you guys remember. This is the crazy thing. You go up really, really high, really fast. Another design for gaining altitude in this. Um, kind of the snake pattern, going back and forth and back and forth, up, up, up. Okay, now this is what you'd remember. We went around this mountain and then we came back down it, right? But I decided, broken tracks right there, just like in the ride. And then we keep going up. So this is all new right here. Normally I'd loop around back there. This I, this is what I added today. Um, we, we get to go, we're above the clouds right now. We get to go above this whole second mountain. This one's a little bit taller, I believe. And we're literally all the way above it. So underneath us, we're above the timber line, we're above everything. And when I was building this, I saw some mountain goats. I thought yesterday that I saw a couple. Today I confirmed that they were. So that was helpful. And then I made this right here, as you can see. Um, goes straight down. And then here's the man, the myth, the legend. We got the Yeti up here. Um, and then we go, we go straight down down the mountain just the way we did yesterday so basically what I added was that whole second section and you know I will I'm gonna pop out actually so you got the full experience I mean there isn't really anything else for me to show you on the ground level floor but let me just show you some of these designs 
uh, third person view. So we have this snaking up. As you can see, the minecart is still going down there. It might, okay, now it's stopping. It doesn't go as fast when there isn't anything give, in it giving momentum. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we're looping around this mountain up here. Uh, there's the Yeti. Um, and then what I did was this was the full loop. I, I pretended that there's like broken tracks because that's what happens in the ride that I'm basing this off of, Expedition Everest. Um, and then I added this whole extra loop up here that goes around the second mountain, which is crazy because we're really high up right now. I mean, you already thought it was high up. I made it even higher. I just figured the sky's the limit. Why not keep going? Um, but yeah, I mean, that's basically what I wanted you to show you guys today. And I've probably already used up a few minutes, so I'm probably just going to wrap it up right here. But that's sort of what I've been doing, adventures with the mine trains. Um, and then making that EE Wee sculpture, adding a little bit to my house, adding a few other little things just here and there. Um, if I fly back, if I fly back all the way to my house and all that, I could show you guys a couple more things. It just might take a minute because it's kind of far away. It shouldn't take too long though. Like I said, totally an amateur. I barely play this game. Um, but I know how to work the mine, the mine cart system. So I just kind of went with that and made a crazy track. Okay. So we're getting over the first straightaway here in the second section. The second straightaway should be right here. It kind of follows this um, deep lake ravine right here. But yeah, I'm not really a fan of the world and just the fact of how much snow there is because I wanted to have like more to play with. There's my Instagram handle, handle for everything really um, in social media, Matthew.MN64. Check me out on there. Um, here's the Thompson Tower once again. And what was I going to say? Oh yeah. I can show you guys the glass um, train, the, the um, underwater glass thing that I did earlier. So it comes out right here like this, because when you're going through it super fast in the train, you can't really comprehend what you're seeing, but it's kind of like this, so this whole big snaky thing goes in over there, comes around, sometimes there's fish in here, I don't see any right now, unfortunately, I was kind of hoping there would be. Um, let's go back up and then I was going to show you this. This is the glass cave. So everything down here, um, if you remember from the very beginning, there's a walkway, like a, a tunnel walkway that leads to right there in that trap door. The train comes out right there and then it goes in that glass thing to go underwater. Um... And then the last thing I'll show you is just the design of the the track that I showed you guys that goes around the the little deep pond. There's my EE Wee sculpture. So here's the loop right here. You can see it. Okay, this is this was really fun to make right here. So this whole thing, uh, basically a zigzag design to get you all the way to the top to the straightaway. That was the way that I decided to build that. Well, there's a cow there. Hi, buddy. But yeah. So basically, that's my world. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, probably not going to play too much more Minecraft. Like I said, I've kind of maxed it out a little bit. If any of my friends want to play it, I'll, I'll think about it. But like, I'm pretty happy with what I've done. So I will see you guys on the next video. Hopefully I can take you guys out birding or show you guys some of the other things that I do other than just video games, which I do enjoy, but it's not the only thing I do. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Later.